I go removing this scuttle panel, this panel that's at the bottom of the windscreen. You need to do this if you want to change your wiper motor. Apparently there's tails of this rubber trim here going funny and people put a mastic and someone on, e on YouTube sorry, has said can we do a video so we'll have a go. I promised him I would. So um, the first thing you've got to do is lift your bonnet up and then you've got to put it in maintenance mode. So your gas struts limit how far your bonnet can go up but the hinges will allow it to go right up. So we've got to just pop out the little clip on the side here. Do you want to have a look at that Ian? There you go, just get a little screwdriver in there. We've done another video on this just the other day, didn't we? That's when I stabbed myself. There you go, oh here we go. Go on out you go. Go on. Go on. I'm making it look difficult. Apparently someone phoned up the other day and said, that guy on YouTube, he makes it look harder than it is really. So there you go. Oh, that's... Oh, right, that's that one off. You still got that? Yep. But no, I'm not really a professional mechanic. That's it. Yeah. We haven't lost the clip. Right then, so so and apparently now we can push that up. I got it. Oh look at that. Have we designed that rightly in? Look at that. Right. Oh just. <laughs> um, and then we've got these little clips. Have you fathomed those clips out? They go on that bit of the back, don't they? There's like a little Well is you you in? I'm close. Not to quite. The roof. Hold on. Not quite either. If you've got a high enough roof, you'll be alright. Ah, air suspension down. We'll just put the air suspension down. What you've got here is you've got this little springy loaded bit, and what it should do is it should drop in. So you line it up there, and then when you push the bonnet up, it poings in and drops. Now one thing we just did was we lowered the suspension because we're a little trick, we're a little low on the old ceiling height. But actually it's made it a much better work height for doing this because we're going to be working over here. So a good tip I've just made out is do that, lower your suspension. Right, let's have these wiper arms off. So if you, if you spread these little bits there, look like that, and you've got a couple of little clips under here. So if you spread that you can release that. That's that one done. Then um, a 16 millimeter socket. We're going to get that on there. I, we haven't done this before, so we're we're sort of making it up as ever. Right. right now, it all depends. We haven't had this off, so it all depends whether we're going to be lucky whether we get this wiper arm off without a puller. Um, some people say you'll need a puller. There's the nut there, okay. Um, but what I normally do with these is, oh, that one's come off easy, look, there you go. Let's have a look what we've got going on here. It looks like there's some sort of spreader, funky shaped washer thing going on there. So you've got that sitting on there. And what have we got there, Ian? Have you got a little, do you want to have a little nose at that while I go and do the other one? Is there a spline on there? What have we got? Uh, it's not splined, it's just a chamfered head. Just a chamfered head. Yeah. Well, it's, it's got a round to it, it's not dead flat. Okay. And then it's just grooved to engage. Right, so I'm going to do this second one. Alright, let me see if this one comes off easy. Let's see if we're going to be lucky with this. And the problem with that one is you can't lift it up because of the bonnet. Because of the bonnet, we're a bit. Okay, don't want to lose yeah, you that. You can't lift it up too high. Yeah, because we can't lift that up. Try Is going it? up and down against the uh, up and down as if it's way Give it a bit. Not, it's normally this way. Give it a bit. Okay, let's rethink Just that one. Slide the catch on the windscreen wiper out, and the windscreen wiper blade drops off the bottom. So let me just, that doesn't give you much leverage, but it allows me to get a bit of a, a better pull on that. But I don't think that is coming. So we're either going to have to use a puller or just a little bit of a, an impact on top. So what I'll do is I'm going to put the nut back on, give him a bit of spray with WD-40. So I'm just going to put the nut on so he's just a bit proud because I don't want to damage the end of the thread. Put some WD-40 on it and give it a tap with a hammer. Probably should have a puller on here. I've just jammed a pair of pliers, very agricultural, just so that 
there's something pushing the arm away and I'm just going to give a couple of, it's not on the glass by the way, um, I'm just going to give him a few taps and see if he just loosens him up. There you go, whoa, look at that, we're away, first obstacle solved. Okay, and is that the same sort of deal, has that got one of those funky, no, yeah, no, he hasn't, has he? No, he's got something got going piece. on. These are all one piece. We'll keep that together. Remember which arm goes where. Right, next job. Apparently we've got two... Right, you've got these two drains here. So, what you're supposed to have is all the water collects in here and goes into this, looks like a bit of washing machine pipe. And apparently these sort of pull off and twist down. And they do as well. Okay, so there you go. That's just a push fit. Probably worth checking they're clear, but they seem fine. Okay, they're fairly big, aren't they? That's going to say, you do well to block them. Even with my nice collection of sycamore. <laughs> right, that one there, again, you've got the little thing here. Now, if you're one of our American friends, it might be a bit different. But that's the other one of those off. That's good. There's my wiper blade out the way. Now we've got to go and get a trim clip removing tool. What you'll notice here is all my, all my trim clips have all gone white. It wasn't to make the video easier. I think they must be made from a different plastic and the, the UV has had the better of them. So, what do you reckon here? Just a normal trim tool? Yeah, we might need a Stanley or something to get an underneath them. Yeah, let's have a look. Right. We having a go? We've got half a chance, haven't we? Whoa, what does he look like? Not a clue, that's not. No, he's gone. Right, we needed new ones anyway, didn't we? Yeah, we don't want to put those back on. Mm. It might be easier to close the bonnet, we'll have a go. I guess I could close the bonnet in. Right, let's have a little more. Right, if you manage to catch them, okay, they've got a little sort of teat on the end of them. So we'll whip those out. You don't need to watch me struggle do that. And we'll come back so and see how we're getting. nearly ready to lift off now. You can see this clearance here. That's going to come through. But if we look at this end, um, you can see that this aluminium bit here is going to get in our way, getting that off. And we could possibly take that grommet out there but I think this is probably on a spline or something so I'm going to put a little bit of leverage again on the back of that I've put the nut back on making sure that the um, the nut stands a little bit proud so I'm going to just see if I can just separate that is that gone? something went Might be better to use a puller on there and get the direct force. Let's have a look. So, what you really want to do, the other way we leave it, it wasn't actually very clever. We actually split the plastic there. Um, but there's something quite solid. The wiper motor's behind it. So, what you really want to do is get something wedged. We've got these handy pair of pliers that just fit in between, tapped it, and what you can see that's done now. That's released this little aluminium interface plate okay now one one tip the guy I was reading about he actually marked where his windscreen wipers went but if you look on our windscreen we got enough dirt on there to show where the wipers were lying so if you're doing this watching the video first maybe put a bit of masking tape or mark where your windscreen wipers are lying if you haven't got as much dirt as I've got so there we go so we've got that little slug off so that side goes to the wiper motor and the smoother side sorry that side goes outwards you'll look at it when you put it back on and this side goes back next to the the cowling right so there's those bits top pair of pliers right now do you reckon we should be right one point to note if you come around the side here is that this part here actually lips up under 
the A panel. Now some people have said you need to take your A panel off, but other people have vigorously denied that that's necessary. So I think it we, we, looks like we're going to get enough clearance to slide that out, doesn't it? So right, let's have a look what we've got going on now. I'm going to come back around the other side. There's one, it looks like there's one little rubber collar there. So the, the bigger end goes forward, it goes on like that. Okay, so that's that. Put that with those other bits. Right, now I think there are some poppers under here. Right, I think we felt that go. I'm going to try and get this one out. Let's have it. Always having something. Right, it's just a question of getting it under. Right, let's go off that side a bit more. Right, he's off the A. He's off the A pillar this side. So I might get enough movement now. There you go. How am I doing here? Right, I just need to go. Just getting over the gap between the, the wiper motor stalk and, and, that and the bonnet. Is this you, on something? No, no, you're good. Okay, so that's how to remove that panel. Let's have a look at the clips on the back. Oh, there we go. So, what clips have we got on the back? It looks. Yeah, just nubs on the back. It's just like those one, two, three, four, five of those. These were the other ones, these holes were those other ones that came down through the top. Um, so that's that. We might give that a paint actually. Uh, they're quite expensive, those panels. I was having a look. And they're pretty expensive. But if you need to access your wiper motor, where's your wiper motor? Oh yeah, he's up under there. Oh no, that looks like the wiper motor under there. Look. That's your mechanism that's underneath the there. The mechanism, and there's your wipe. It looks like it's held on with these bolts here. But there we go, hopefully that helps you. And my phone's ringing. So good luck with that.